Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. Here we are in Gardena, California. Mm -hmm. We are going to do a triple showdown. Yes. Our showdown is going to consist of chicken pot pie, mm -hmm. apple pie, yes. and chili. Right. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be uh, Marie Callender's versus Blackberry Diner. Yeah. See which one ha comes on top. You never know which you one has the best. You never know, right? Never know, babe. You ready to try it? Let's go try it. Here we have the famous Marie Callender's chicken pot pie. You know, everyone's seen this at their local grocery market or Costco or Sam's for their popular you know, frozen section chicken pot pie. But we're gonna try it here fresh, see how it is. Let's break this open. Oh yeah, you can tell it's nice and flaky. Look at that. It feels really dense in here. Must be lots of chicken. Oh, it's hot. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a pretty good shot. Carrots, some uh, celery, good pieces of chicken. Get this up there like that. Look at that. You can tell that this thing is hot. Let this cool off for a little bit. You can see there's a double layer of pastry. So it's really thick type of pie crust on this thing. What I noticed that the pie filling is very dense. I'm not saying that's good or bad. It's just an observation. Cause sometimes it's like a little soupy, but it's not soupy in this case. But let's give this a try. A big piece of chicken here. Chicken is super moist. It's a white chicken, white piece, like a chopped up breast meat. Vegetables have a very good, nice flavor to it. Overall, it, it tastes really good. It, almost like what I remembered it. Also, you can see that the pie crust goes all the way down the sides. There are some places where they only put the crust only on the top and the sides don't have any crust at all. But on this one, it goes all the way down the side. Also, we got the world famous chili. You can get the chili. I know they sell the mix in the market as a, also as their cornbread. Well known items that they have in the market. That is super hot too. So we're gonna wait till it cools off just a bit. I asked for onions on the side, so I'm gonna put a little bit on top of my chili there. And we're gonna give this a try. Let's mix it in here. This chili is super meaty. You can also see the beans in there. This looks really tasty. That cheese as well. Let's try this. Not a spicy chili at all. Completely mild. Has actually no spice to it. It's very good tasting. It's very hearty. Really hearty chili. Has really good tomato. You can see again the meat in there with those kidney beans. Perfect lunch. Long. It comes with some cornbread. It looks dry. I'm hoping it's not dry. Not dry at all. It goes perfect with this chili, especially with their honey butter. Now it's pie time. This is their famous apple pie. Now here's the funny thing. You could replicate this entire meal at home by a trip to the supermarket. You could get the chili mix, the cornbread mix, the frozen chicken pot pie, and their salad dressing. And you could also pick up their frozen apple pie. So let's give this one a try. The apples are 
kind of al dente a little bit. Here it is. Yeah. You cannot go wrong with the Marie Callender's apple pie. The crust is almost like the one on top of the chicken pot pie. Very flaky. The apple filling is semi-sweet. The apples itself weren't stewed too long, so it has a nice apple bite to it. It's almost a perfect apple pie. It's really good. What do you think about the Marie Callender's there, babe? It was good, babe. It was good. It's a very familiar. I haven't been here in years. Right. So it was a good meal. I'm yeah. looking forward to Black Bear Diner, though. Yeah, and the chicken pot pie, I only have one zonk. <laughs> it's just a little too much of the pastry crust. I really like how flaky it is, but it was just a little too much for me. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll see how Black Bear Diner executes their chicken pot pie. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, and we do have a apple pie to go. Yeah. Since you're here, right? Might as well pick one up. Might as well. All right, so a little bit later, we're going to hit up Black Bear Diner. We are. Made it to Blackberry Diner. Yep, we're gonna try out the same stuff. Their chicken pot pie deal doesn't start until 4 p.m. So That's we're right. here a little bit later. Yeah. And we're gonna try out their pot pie. And apple pie and chili. And chili. chili. Let's do it. Let's go. We got their homemade chili here at Blackberry Diner. Now on the paper, it tells you what it has. So while you're looking at that, it's got lean ground beef, mild Italian sausage, beans mixed with just a hint of cayenne pepper, chili powder, cumin, and spices. And this one, they put the cheese and onions already here. So let's give it a little mix. And for the side, we have their cornbread. It's pretty heavy, very dense. Let's try the chili on its own. Here we go. This is really good. Very good chili. Has those nice spices. You can tell that it has more spices than the Marie Callender one. The, um, just the taste of the mixture of the pork and the ground beef. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's, it's a good chili. It's almost like it's perfect, almost like with Kings, on a chili dog or uh, a cheeseburger. Put a couple dollops of this on top of that meat. This is it. Let's try this cornbread out. Yes or no, this cornbread is hot. So we'll put that in here. There we go. This cornbread has a, has a hint of sweetness to it. And you can see the little pieces of corn inside this one. Mmm. This one is pretty good. You know, after just a couple bites, uh, I'll stop there. I won't say anything. <laughs> and what happened to our pot pie, babe? Oh. Unfortunately, they ran out of chicken pot pie filling. They started at 4 p.m. We came in around 4.30, sold out. So what we get instead? Yeah, well, instead we just got a, a patty melt here. Cause you know me and patty melts. So what we're gonna do is uh, shoot the chicken pot pie, probably tomorrow, but we're gonna come earlier so we can make sure we secure one. So again, you know me and patty melts. Since we didn't have the chicken pot pie, we had to go for their patty melt. Looks like it's on a marbled rye. It's nicely toasted. Uh, butter on it. I always like to uh, put a little bit of ketchup on mine. So let's open this up. There we go. Perfect. Let's them out. So this is like a... Um, it's like a bonus review because this is not part of the showdown. Here we go. Patty Mop from Black Bear Diner. 
This is a very good patty melt. That ground beef is very coarse and meaty. They ask you what temperature you want it cooked at. I said medium well. It looked like it came out a little well done, but that's fine because it's a burger. Great flavor on that cheese and that marbled rye. Fantastic. Right amount of toastness on the outside, but the bread is nice and soft in the middle. Mm. And those grilled onions, just round everything out. Look at that. This is their cobbler. So we're gonna do it with the, with the pie that we got from Marie's calendar. This looks so good. Let's try this out. I know it's still missing the ice cream and the whipped cream, but that's okay. We wanna really taste out the apple. So as you can see, it's packed with apples. It's super hot, oh, as this, you can this, see. This one is warmed up, huh? Wow. Be careful, um, babe. I think I may wait a minute until this cools off. Let's try this apple pie. Mm. Full of apples. Not tart at all, but it's not too sweet either. Apples are nicely soft. You can taste that a hint of cinnamon in there. The crust is not really crispy as well. It's a tasty apple pie. Now that the chili and the apple pie portion of the showdown is complete, we'll be back for the chicken pot pie. We came back and I'm so happy we did. This is their pot pie. This thing is humongous. Wow, look at this. Nice crust on top. Go ahead and break this open. This is a really deep dish. This is a giant pot pie for one person. This is a full on meal. You can see good pieces of chicken in there. And unlike the one at Marie Callender's, this one's a lot more on the soupy side. Mm. Uh, let me see, hopefully this isn't too hot. The top, but not too hot. But that bite was hot. Good, good pieces of chicken. And taste the veggies in there. This crust is really good. It's, it's a flaky. It's very tasty crust, especially with that caramelization on top of that crust. Pretty tasty pot pie. Stick that crust. Oh, look how clean it comes off. Give that in that uh, soup. We can give it a taste by itself like that. Okay, babe. There you go. That's a good one. Here's the crust. Mm. Flaky. You know this gravy it reminds me of. Reminds me of the gravy that you would have in like turkey, like a turkey gravy. With this crust, and you dip it in the gravy. And it has like those turkey spices in this gravy, but it's with chicken. It's really good. That's gonna wrap up our triple showdown yes. for the chicken pot pie, so good. the chili, and the apple pie. Yeah. It All right, be. so what's your pick on the chicken pot pie? Chicken pot pie has to be here at Black Bear. Mm. Um, good flavor. It reminded me, the gravy reminded me of turkey gravy. You can see the chicken was roasted in the inside. Mm -hmm. um, a lot less crust than Marie Callender's. It didn't need anything. Like in Marie Callender's, I needed a little bit of pepper. This one didn't need any seasoning at all. It was really good. Yeah, I have to agree with everything you said with the addition of, I really love the Marie Callender's crust, mm -hmm. but it was just too much of it. Mm -hmm. the, the ratio wasn't wasn't correct. Right, right. But this uh, this gravy here, that pot pie filling was, was on point. It was mm -hmm. very tasty. And uh, on the subject of uh, pot pies, mm -hmm. 
I would have to give honorary uh, credit mention. to uh, yeah honorary mention to mm -hmm. uh, Knott's Berry Farm the uh, Mrs. Knott's chicken dinner. Yes, yes, yeah. that's actually his favorite pot pie. Yeah, um, we yeah. picked these two places, Mary Callender's and Black Bear, because they're all over the nation. They're all over the U.S. Well, kind of. Uh, I mean, a lot more than Mrs. Knott's. Yeah, a lot more than Mrs. Knott's. And so I know Black Bear is like all over the place. Well, Marie I believe Callender's they go is more as, West Coast, right? Well, they go as far as East as I think a little bit past Texas is about it. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought yeah. they went further. And then, but Mary Callender's is more West Coast? Yeah, a little bit more West Coast. So mm -hmm. uh, it was from Central to West Coast, you guys could try all these out. Right. right. Uh, chili. Chili. Chili, I would have to give it to here. Chili. And with their chili here was really meaty, really good, and I really like the beans. I like everything in it. My calendars had the beans too, and it's more classic, familiar taste. But this chili, very meaty. It, it was, was. It was very scrumptious. Again, I agree. Mm -hmm. Black bear for the chili. I love that combination of the ground beef and pork that they put in. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that gave it that extra flavor and uh, the nice chili flavor as and well. And the cornbread was very good here. Yeah, the cornbread was better here. Yeah, and um, it didn't yeah. need anything at all. I mean, even the extra butter because it was already had a little sweet taste to it and it was already buttery. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, our last apple pie. Apple pie. I would have to give that to you. Marie Callender's. <laughs> Marie, I mean... You go to Marie Callender's for the pies, and there's a reason why you go for there for the pies, and it's still very consistent. Their apple pie is just phenomenal. It is awesome. It is. It's mm -hmm. it's my favorite. Yeah. If you talk about mm -hmm. apple pies, first thing that comes to mind is Marie Callender's. Yeah, and it's an extreme, extremely consistent um, apple pie. I've tried the frozen apple pie that you get in the market from Marie Callender's. To me, it's not the same. It's good, but it's not the same as you're getting it at an actual Marie Callender's. I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that flakiness, that perfect apple pie filling, a right amount of tartness and sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite. Yeah, it is, baby. Well, that wraps, wraps up our uh, triple showdown. Any that shout was outs? yummy. Oh, I yeah. do. I do have a lot of shout outs today. Gracie, happy birthday. Chris from Pittsburgh, happy birthday. Rob and Rob, happy birthday from Heather and us. Mm -hmm. Jay, happy birthday from Alyssa. Santiago and us. Mm -hmm. uh, Lisa from Swansea, and hopefully I guess I, uh, I'm pronouncing that correctly. Swansea, Ray, uh, Wales. Yes. Happy birthday. Uh, Tom, Beth, and Dexter from Stockton Heath, England. Thank you so much oh, for wow. watching. And Jesse and Stacy, congrats on getting married in Vegas. Yes, congratulations. Whee! And happy birthday to everyone. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Again, our, uh, our triple showdown. And mm -hmm. we'll catch you guys on the next one.